Hi Facebook, welcome to this Q&A session. Um, it's a live and it's all around list segmentation, opt-in, and what to do once people have opted into your business. So what do you do with your prospects and how do you turn them into customers? Follows on from the uh, Facebook Live that I did a couple of days ago on sales funnels. So if you want to go back and look at that, let me know. I'm going to create all of these Facebook Lives that I'm doing. I'm turning them into a YouTube channel as well. So I'm going to have a whole uh, system uh, set up where you'll be able to go in and see all of the different things I talk about. But my name's Steve Woody, uh, founder of Online Mastery, and I'm going to do sort of uh, 15, 20 minutes. If you've got any questions about anything, put them in the comments. I'm going to interact with you here. That's the whole purpose of me doing this. But the purpose of this video right now is for me to jump up on the whiteboard and just to give you some, hopefully just to educate you and give you some ideas and concepts behind what you can do to turn people into customers. So let's just start at the beginning. We talked, I talked the other day about traffic and conversion. So for a sales funnel, the two things you need is you need traffic and you need conversion. So what I really want to do is I want to focus on the traffic right now. Okay, and there's lots of different ways that you can get traffic into your website or into your app or into anything that you you've got but the idea ultimately is that you want to start building up a picture so you have a person and you want to start understanding some information about this person it's like a game the more information that you understand about somebody the more you can help them the more that you can connect with them so the more you understand what their problem is the more you understand what their pain is the more that you can better serve them give them the solution that they need. So what I would say is that the most important thing that you will have in your business is your list. It is a list of all of the names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, um, dogs' names, whatever that information is to you. But that list, that list is going to be your most valuable asset. I would rather give away my credit card details than I would my email address. Because I can always get a new credit card, but I can't get a new email address. My email address I use for everything. And so when I start getting spammed and when I start getting hit with crap, it's really frustrating. So I really value my email address and you should really value the email addresses that people give you. And the reason they give them to you is because they want to find out more about you. Now, it's really interesting because I put a Facebook post up earlier where I sent an email out last night. And I sent this email out to my entire list. I started going through one by one, sending out an email to each individual person. I was taking their email address, I was loading up their contact record, and I was going into Gmail and I was sending them a personal email. It was taking me ages. It took me so long. And I got to the point where I'm like, I worked out, I actually sat down and did the maths. It was taking me, on average, about two minutes to write an email. And then I was like, okay, how many emails can I write per hour how many people do I have on my list? How long is it going to take me to send an email to everyone on my list? I couldn't, I just couldn't physically do it. I didn't have enough time. So that what I did is I sent an email out and it's what you call a blast. I blasted my email list. So the things I want to talk about in this is the benefits of that, the drawbacks of that, and the real reason why segmenting your list is so important. So the first thing we need to look at is the list, okay? For you to have a list, you may use, um, you can start with Excel. Like, let's just talk about, like, if you're starting at the early level, like the beginning level, you have an Excel document with names and email addresses. That is its most basic form. Or you have a black book with names and, names and phone numbers, whatever. That's the most basic form of, of gathering a list. But if you want to start automating it and using systems and getting things that can work in your business for you, then you might consider using something like MailChimp. MailChimp is an autoresponder which means that it automatically responds to people. So when they sign up to a list, it sends them a series of emails. And you can do that to nurture them, to, um, to educate them. You can do it to sell to them. Uh, you can do it for lots of different reasons. But if you've got something like MailChimp, the whole purpose of MailChimp is to send out information. There's a big difference between an autoresponder, which sends out emails, and what is called a CRM system. Okay, a contact relationship management system, a way that you can gather this data. Because what a CRM system does is it gathers the name, the email address, the picture, the, all of the information that's relevant. And let me just tell you, WordPress is a CRM. You have the ability to capture all of the information that you need about your prospects in WordPress. 
And it's exactly what I do in my business. And I'm more than happy to go through in a minute and I'll show you that. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to give you an example and show you live how I actually use WordPress as a CRM. If you're using another system, that's fine. You could use Infusionsoft, you could use Active Campaign. There's a lot of great systems. There's even some cheaper options, Capture CRM. There's some great options out there for you to use. And you've got to use what works best for your business. But what I want to tell you just quickly about the systems is that if you're using a CRM system and an autoresponder, they need to talk to each other and they need to talk to everything else. Your CRM system needs to talk to your website. That's a problem with Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft doesn't talk to the website. That's why myself and my lead developer, Jack, we built a plugin called WP Fusion. Well, it's actually, uh, WP Fusion was originally created to connect Infusionsoft to WordPress so that they talk to each other. Since then, it's, it's blown up and now we use it for Entreport, we use it for Salesforce, we use it for ActiveCampaign, we use it for all a lot of other systems and it connects the CRM system to the, web, to the website. So it's really important because when a user is on your website, and they're scrolling through, and they're clicking on buttons, and they're watching videos, and they're going from page to page to page. You want to be capturing that. You want to be capturing that information in the CRM because then you're starting to build up a picture. Now you're starting to understand the history. What emails have you sent to this person? What emails have they opened? What emails have they interacted with? What have they purchased from you? What pages have they seen on your website? When did they last see your website? Like all of this information is data and all of this data is golden. This is what is important because once you have this data, then you can start to analyze the data and then you can start to understand what works and what doesn't. The only way that you can increase your conversions and that you can work on maximizing your business is when you start to build up this information. Now, not to get overwhelmed and to relax for a moment because that could seem like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. That's a lot of stuff. Don't need to worry about it. All you need right now is an awareness. As long as you're aware that that's the outcome, you can put the systems in place easily and they can do that automatically. Your purpose is to gather the data. You don't need to analyze it, but you need to have it. You can bring someone else in to analyze the data. You can learn to analyze the data. You can do things like step by step. Every single website on the planet should have Google Analytics. Every single website should have Google Analytics. Whether you look at the data or not, that doesn't matter. What you need to know is that you're collecting the data so you can go back. Because if you're not collecting it, you can't do anything about it. That's why CRM is so important, and that's why an auto response. Does that make sense so far? So this is what I was talking about with list segmentation. The reason that so many people struggle is because they will use a system like MailChimp. So I'm just going to clean the whiteboard off. They will use a system like MailChimp, and what they will do is send everybody into one list. Right? So this is me giving you this, uh, this is information I want to give you. So what will happen is you'll have a website. Let's just use a website as an example. And people will say... This is the worst one. This is the one that I don't like. Sign up for my newsletter. It doesn't really work. No one gives a shit. No one cares about signing up for like who wants another email? Really? I mean, yeah, okay, you can have it in the blog section, you can have it on there. But if your only way of collecting names and email addresses is by signing up to a newsletter, you're missing so much. So much. Because that just like it's proven. You look at just if, if, you're, if the only thing that you've got at the moment to click names and email addresses is sign up to my newsletter, I challenge you right now to be brutally honest and tell me how successful that is for you. How many people do you have in your list as a result of that? Because I can tell you now, I know from every, every single person I've spoken to, from people with huge followings to people with not many followings, no one wants to be bombarded with emails. No one wants that. Not general emails. What they want is something specific. So what you may do, instead of having a general newsletter sign up, and by the way, a general newsletter sign up, if you have that on your blog, at the bottom of the blog, did you enjoy this article? Subscribe to hear about more. Okay, that makes sense. So every time you post a blog post, you can let them know. That makes sense. But you don't need that on your homepage underneath your title banner. It doesn't belong there. That's not where that goes. Sign up for your newsletter goes on the blog section or goes on wherever you're posting constant content. Okay, that's where that should go. So what you would consider is what is called an opt-in. Now, an opt-in, you can do it. There's different ways to do it, and I test different ways. You can either give somebody some value for free, 
give them value, and in exchange, ask for their name and email address so that you can then give them more value. This is, an, this is an option. So what you can do, and this is what a lot of people do, a lot of the big marketers, when you look at the Frank Kearns, Ryan Dice, you look at the Mike Dillards, all of the people out there who are doing this, what they will say is, here's what you want, I know what you want, give me your name and email address and I'll give it to you. And people like Jason Harung at the moment, what they're doing is they're saying, look, here's a problem and here's a solution. And if you want to know how to implement this solution, so that's what they're doing. So there's like there's different ways to do it. What you could do is give something away for free. Give it away for free and trust that they'll love it enough to want to give you their name and email address. Or you can promise them something in exchange for their name and email address. There's so many different ways to do it. Somebody could You could get somebody to purchase something very, very cheap. And in the checkout process, there could be a opt-in for updates. It could be a case that you have um, a form. This is one of the things I do. If I go to get started, or if you, if you go onto onlinemastery.co.uk, at the top it says get started. If you click on a get started, there's a series of questions. Once you've filled in the questions, there's the opportunity to put in your name and email address. And then I respond. Whatever people say to me, I look at the answers and I, I, I personally respond to those emails. And I connect and I figure out what's best for them. What also happens is once they've given me that email, they're redirected to a page that's relevant for them. You see, what you need to understand here is that there are lots of different ways to get people into your list. There's loads of different ways to do it. You could, um, you could have a support system where you have a getting help section. And it, whenever, they, um, whenever they ask a question, they have to give your name and email, and they can opt in or opt out of marketing. And some people, if they feel like you're giving them value, they will opt in. If they feel like they're getting value, if you're solving a problem for them, they'll want to be involved in that. But here's what happens with most people, and here's the problem. This is, this is really the point I want to get to today. All right, you've got your list, and what happens is you've got your opt-ins, and all of your opt-ins go into this list, okay? And so everyone's going into here. Now, what happens is people say, oh, I need to make some money, I'm going to send out an email. And they'll send this email out to their entire list. And the challenge with that is a lot of people in this list either are not ready for that, or they're not interested in that, and for whatever reason, this causes a disconnect. Okay, and so people unsubscribe, they leave the list, they go for whatever reason. And so it's not, it, it may work. And this is what I did earlier. The email I sent out earlier was exactly this. It's called an email blast. I sent it out to my entire list. I basically asked everyone in my list if they want, to, if they want some money. And the result of me doing that, I kept it very, very short. And I was really, I'm going to be brutally honest with you now, I was scared to send it out. I was scared to send it out because I don't, like coming across as like a sousy type of person. That's not what I like to do. Like the whole reason I'm doing all of this is because I like, like I prefer working for free because there's no nothing to worry about with money. I don't have to think or worry about money. But the reality is I've got a business to run and I need to earn money and I, I need that money to live. So there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with me adding value and getting paid for that value. That's just a self-worth thing. That's a respect thing in myself. And that's where I'm at the point now. I sent an email out and said, you know what? All right, I've made a lot of money so far at the start of this year. That's fantastic. I am hitting my debts. I'm paying my debts off. I've paid off thousands to lo loads of different people. I'm clearing all of the shit that I had. I've cleared all my credit cards. Everything's done. I'm in a much better position now because I started to value myself. And so I said, look, I've made a lot of money. Like since December, I've made 20 grand. That's fantastic for me. Fantastic. But the reality is I look like a dick. If I sit there going, oh, I've made loads of money. Oh, I look at all the money I've made. Who gives a shit? No one cares. People want to make money for themselves. People want to make 20 grand for themselves. Like, how many of you right now, give me some likes if you want 20 grand. I mean, it's just, do you know what I mean? It's like, no one cares about what I've made. People want to know what they want to make. And so, for you, if you want to make some money in your business, then I need to show you how to do it. I need to give you, like, I need to understand where you are in your business, what your business is, what your business does, who your customers are. I need to understand what market you're in. I need to understand how to target that market. I need to understand all of the processes that you need to put in place. So I need this data. I need to understand this. So I need to ask you questions. So I need to talk to you. So I need to interact with you. Because when I start doing that, then I understand what you need to do to make money. I know what sales funnels you need. I know what processes you need. I know what conversions you need. I know the maths behind what you need to do. And so when I can get into your brain and figure that out, I can help you make money. Guess what? In return, 
You go, Steve made me an extra five grand this month. Steve made me an extra 10 grand this month. Now all of a sudden you're shouting about me on social media and I don't have to do it anymore. I can send out these case studies to people and people are going to be like, oh wow, Steve did that for you, I want that. I don't have to worry about it anymore. That's the whole point I'm talking about, like case studies and testimonials and social proof. Talked about this in the other video. But the only way I can do that is not by an email like this. This is not how I want to email people. The email that I sent out was, do you want to earn money? I'm looking for a select group of people that I can work with because I've made a lot of money the last few months, but I want to do it for you. Because if I can make you money, and I'm doing a no, like I'm doing a, it's an absolute no-brainer. If I don't make you money in your business, I'll give you a full refund. Like, I can't be any clearer than that. If I fail you, you don't pay for a thing. Like, I don't, that's, that's, my, that's my guarantee because I have to believe in what I'm doing. I know this works because I've tested it. I use this with my clients. The only difference between how I've been in the past and my clients have been in the past is they don't have the bullshit in their head hanging them up around the money issue. That money issue that's held me back has stopped me doing this. It's stopped me selling. It's stopped me promoting myself. Other people don't have that issue, and so they've gone on to be very successful. And I've got a client at the moment who I'm working with. He's losing, on average, he's losing about a quarter of a million pound a year at the moment. Now, he's already built up a brand. He's built a successful business, and his business is successful, but he's losing about a quarter of a million on the back end of it. So we've built a whole new website and a whole new system that's about to go live, and you'll see it soon when it all goes live, and that's going to generate him in a region of between one and 200,000 a year. Now, just understand that that's what that's going to generate him he hasn't paid that out so that's a, that's a real return that i'll be able to use and I'm, that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for people like that that i can work with that we can get to that place because this is what you need to do for list segmentation right this is why it's so important you want to know um give me an industry someone type an industry type type something can give me an example i want to use a real life example i don't want to use me um Give me an industry right now that you're working in and, and let's go through this. Because if you don't, I'm going to use golf. So unless you want to talk about golf, that's the first thing that just pops into my head. I don't even play golf. Give me an example. Give me an example. Hello, by the way, everyone. I'm just going to look through the comments quickly. Uh, hey, Micro. Hope you're well, mate. Nice to see you. Lewin, Monica, Louise, Robert. Hey, hey, hey. Matthew, Vinny. Builders, manufacturing. All right, builders, let's go for that. Builders, perfect. I love it. So, right, let's just say that you're a builder. Um, I'm going to say for uh, for an example, let's go for um, tradesmen. Let's go for handymen, right? We're going to use handymen as an example. I say builders. We're going to go for handymen here just for the purpose of this. So you could say, um, do you need a handyman? Do you need this? Do you need anyone to come and help build or do anything on your house? And you can sort of build a list up on people that are interested in that. Now, if I ask these people a question, one simple question, it could be, are you a homeowner? What I've now done is I've segmented this list into two different lists. Now I've got homeowners and I've got tenants. Okay, now what I can ask is another question, um, do you have a garden? So what I may now be doing is saying, do you have a garden? No garden. I can ask a different question as well. Um, when's the last time you painted your house? Now, there's no right or wrong way to do this, and you can set up forms that do this, or you can do, uh, you can literally just get on the phone and talk to them. Or, but I would recommend that you have systems in place that do this. You can target people who are looking for certain things. And now what it means is when I send an email out to this list, I can send an email out saying, summer's coming up. Do you want your garden to look beautiful? We've got this amazing deal. I would love to have a chat with you about your garden. Because if I sent that out to my whole list, then there's a load of people that haven't got a garden who are like, I don't really give a shit about what you're doing with gardens. Unsubscribe, it's not relevant. And so you lose them. But by segmenting your list, by putting people into boxes, by putting people into different places, you can say, do you know what? For the people that have got a garden, I'm going to send them some information purely around their gardening. All right? For people that need their house painted, I can offer them not only an affiliate deal with B&Q where they can get their paint cheaper, but also I can offer them so I can get additional money through additional revenue streams, through things like that. 
or you know, have you seen this wallpaper on Amazon? Here's my Amazon link. Uh, like, there's other ways to like to get money in, like little bits of money here and there. They help. You should never turn away money if you've got the opportunity to make it. But in terms of what you're doing, you start to build up this picture. You start to build up this profile of somebody and you start to understand where they live, what they've got, what they need, what's their income level. What, in terms of builder, are they looking to have an extension? Do they know anyone? Whereabouts do they live? What area? Is there anyone else in that area? Is there anywhere where you can target everyone in one area? Like There's all of these questions you can start to ask and you can start to build up this picture. And as you start to understand this, you can start to say to people, you know, um, do you need an extension? Maybe you don't need to move house. Like Here's a good one as a builder. You could turn around and say... Having a baby, you can go on Facebook and target anyone that's just had a baby. You can do Facebook ads to anyone that's just had a child. So you could turn around and say to the men, you could send a message out to the men, uh, uh, you can segment this to men and to women. You could say, guys, just had a baby, are you going to struggle for space in a few years? Rather than stressing about selling your house just to buy somewhere bigger, why not have a loft conversion? We do specific loft conversions to help increase like the space within your house. You can have an extra room. You don't have to worry about moving. It's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run. In fact, we can come and give you a free quote, blah, 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 blah. Do you see what I mean? Does that make sense? Do you see how like, if you segmented your list to people that have had babies, that have got a family, that are extending, that have run out of room but needs, can you see how important that would be for them? How you've just targeted directly that person. And how if you send that email out just to those people, yes, it's going to be a smaller list, you may have 10,000 people on your main list and you may only have 100 people in this one. But if you send out an email to 10,000 people and it's not relevant, you may end up losing a good 5% of them, 10% of them. Well, if you send it out just to these people, it's going to be relevant. You can target it specifically for them. You can focus on them. You can make it relevant for them. And it doesn't bother the other people. That's what the power of list segmentation is all about. Now, if you're using MailChimp, you can use a service called Mandrill. That is an option because MailChimp, as standard, I still don't believe does the list segmentation. If you're using Infusionsoft or Active Campaign, then you can do that already. You can tag people. What a tag basically is, really simply, is it's just a post it note. You just put a post it note onto somebody's account, and that's all you need to do because by doing that, by putting a post it note onto somebody's account, you're saying they're this or they're that, or this is about them or that's about them. And like, that's, that's the only thing we're trying to do here. We're just trying to send people on a journey between A and B, and then here, from C to D, and then from here, E to F. That's all we're doing. Because when you get here, when you get to this point here, you may only have 100 people, but you can send a message so direct, so direct to those 100 people, that you can absolutely now, the exact thing that they need, and you are more likely to convert out of that then you are out of here. Does that make sense? Does, does that, and, and also, you're not going to lose the people as much. You're not, people aren't going to unsubscribe because they're getting fed up with your shit. Does that make sense? Hopefully you understand that. Like I said, I know this can be an overwhelming topic and I know there's a lot to cover and I know I'm just like, rah, I don't script these videos. I do these purely just so that I can get out of my head what I know and hopefully it helps you and you can take it and you can use it. If you need help with any of this, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to go through this with you. I'm more than happy to work with you. As I said, I'm going to be working with some people one-on-one -on -one to implement all of this into your business. If you want to, if you're in a position where you're ready for it, reach out. Otherwise, if you know anyone that needs to know this, please tag them in the comments below. Send me a message. Let me know what industry you're working in. Let me know what industry you're working in and how you're segmenting the people because I would love to know. Because this is really important when you understand this. There's nothing wrong with sending an email out to everybody. But you want to start segmenting. You want to start getting people into a place where you understand. Because here's another thing. If someone does want to unsubscribe, it's much easier for them to unsubscribe from one list that's no longer relevant to them, rather than them unsubscribing altogether. If you lose them from the main list, you've lost them. If you lose them from a sub list, you've still got them. You can still email them. You can still talk to them. And I'm going to leave you with one last little final thing. And I wish I could just wipe this board off quicker. I'm sorry it's taken me. It's a bit messy. I've got plan, build, and promote, right? Now, this is a, an example, just quickly about me. They're three separate lists, okay? Online mastery. So I have a generic list for online mastery. Anyone who feels you might getting started goes into here. Now, when they're into here, I ask a series of questions. And that question will put them into one of these lists, depending on what they're, they're interested in. 
Now, people aren't necessarily going to stay in plan. They'll plan for a while, but once they've got their plan, they don't need information about this anymore. So now they'll be taken out of that list and put into this one. And then they'll build their website. But once their website's built, they don't need to worry about this anymore. They need to focus on promoting. So the ability to take them out of a list. But if I'm just constantly sending them emails about all three all the time, they're not going to be interested. They're not going to be interested because they're going to be getting information that's not relevant to them. People, don't, people can't promote their website when they're still trying to plan it. So you need to understand the difference between list segmentation, taking people in and out of lists, nurturing people, because that's what this is all about. We're trying to drive them towards their outcome. Yeah, remember, the outcome that people have in business is to make money. That's what they need to do. And so for someone to make money, they have a problem. You need to solve that problem, taking them on a journey, step by step, one thing at a time. Remember, if someone's been shot, you don't tell them they've been shot. Give them some morphine, help them overcome the pain, and then worry about taking the bullet out. Then worry about giving them some body armor, step by step. Same with you. I'm telling you right now that obviously... There's a lot to do. You don't have to get overwhelmed by this. You can take a step back, start at the beginning, and as long as you've got the awareness, you can start to figure out what you're going to do about it. I'm going to have a quick look through the comments if anyone's put anything down. What's the system, uh, what's the system you called, Steve? Um, the system that I use. So, Robert, the system that I use at the moment, I'm in Infusionsoft at the moment, so I'm using that. I don't use Infusionsoft for most of the things it does. So I don't use it for um, all the forms. I don't use it for the e-commerce side of it. I don't use it for the affiliate side of it. I purely only use it for creating the campaigns, so the sequences, so the series of emails that go out. And I use it for um, capturing data and for um, uh, building up the, the picture of people. I'm actually in the process right now. So my email that went out this morning didn't go out from Infusionsoft. I've exported that list of people from Infusionsoft over to Active Campaign, and I'm currently working with Active Campaign. I've been using both for quite a long time now for clients and things, but for me, for what I need for my business right now, Active Campaign, it just has one feature that really helps me, and it's actually bringing me in more money focusing on that one feature. So, like, whilst Infusionsoft is amazing, I love it, it's a brilliant system, it's done me really well, um, it's not right now. Getting me what I need, giving me what I need, and I don't see them updating it to be more user friendly for me. And so I just need to focus on what I need to do. So for me, Active Campaign is better right now for me. Um, and there's a big migration process there. So not only with the moving the house and everything else I've got going on, I'm also like migrating systems and things like that. So a lot going on. Plus, the great thing about this is that I'm doing it all this month because on the 1st of March, it has got nothing to do with me anymore. On the 1st of March, I am going to be specifically and solely focused on the people that have signed up. Like so far, as I said, we've got, there's a couple of people that are still waiting to get back to me that I, I'm, I'm waiting to hear from. And so as soon as they get back to me and, and we sort that out, then I'll, I'll have a better idea of numbers. But at the moment, I've got sort of, there's 10 people who are committed uh, and, or who have either paid or who have promised they are going to pay. And as I said, I'm looking for 100 people for the initial launch. So if you know anybody that wants me to work one-on-one -on -one and go through all of this, from the planning, the building, the promoting, the converting, and like, just to work through everything, then I'm, I'm more than happy to either work with yourself or anyone that you know that will be relevant. Uh, I'm not going to pitch or I'm not going to put you through a process. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a £1,000 for six weeks. £1,000 six weeks, you get everything I've ever made. You get my book, my course, my all my courses, everything I've ever made you get, and you also get me. You get my mobile number, you can contact me 24-7. I might not respond while I'm asleep, but for six weeks, you get 24-hour access to me, and I will work through with you to get you results. So if that sounds good and you're interested in that, then just send me a direct message. You can post it in the comments below. You're more than welcome to, but send me a direct message. As I said, I'll do a webinar about this on the 14th. Um, and the whole idea of the webinar is going to be to educate people, but it's going to be to drive people into that core offer. And, and that is what I'm focusing on. I am only focusing right now on that core offer and by helping other people, by giving them everything I've got and then coaching and consulting them through the process and making sure that they understand things like this and that this is set up. Like, so you have like all of this set up for your own business and it's all there and it's working. And then we just monitor it and we test it and we say, okay, where are you today? Okay, you've got this conversion. Okay, you've got that conversion. Can we improve it? Can we make more money? How can we save you money and make more money? And so we're going to, that's the place I want to get to with people where we're just looking at small tweaks. But to get there, there's a process. It takes time. Look, this is a business, all right? You, like, you may look at people online and go, oh, look, they're making like loads of money. But I've been building these systems out for years. 
I've been working on this for the last five years at least. And I'm only now, only now am I getting to the point where I'm talking about it. My book's been out for over a year now. All of my courses and everything have been made for over a year now. I've just never sold and promoted them because I wasn't ready. So this isn't a quick fix. Like if you want to go out and make quick money, then I am not the right person for you. I am not going to tell you how you can go and make like 100 grand overnight because I don't fucking know how to do that myself. Not ethically. Not ethically. I'm all about sustainable profits that are within your means. If you need to make two grand a month, I'll show you how to make two grand a month. If you need to make five grand a month, I'll show you how to make five grand a month. If you need to make 10 grand a month, I'll show you how to make five grand a month. And then you can implement the things you need that are relevant for you. Because every person, every industry, every market, everything's different. And you can't take a generic model and apply it and make it work. Like you can take bits of it that work and you can adapt it for you. But any of these courses that you buy, anything, anything that you buy, you don't implement it 100%. You take what works for you. Because these people that are extremely successful, that are making six, seven, eight figures, what they do, they've already built their brand. They've already built up their alliances. They've built up their names. They've built up their joint ventures. They've got systems that they don't tell you about. I promise you. Because that's the stuff that's getting them their money. They're just telling you what you need to know to get to the next step of the ladder to get to them. But you're never going to get to them by copying them. You're going to get to them or you're going to get to where they are by doing your own thing. So you've got to do what's right for you. So take whatever works, use it, adapt it, test it, test it, test it, test it, and then make sure you test it. Because all of this is bollocks, it's theory, if you don't test it. You can't just set it up and leave it. You need to check it, you need to see, you need to understand. Infusionsoft or Active Campaign? Well, I've just answered that question. I love both of them. Infusionsoft's fantastic, but Active Campaign is more user friendly. Um, segment by business type, location, revenue, a whole bunch of other things where I can anyway. Absolutely, yeah, you need to segment in every way you can. Get as much information as you can. Everything that you can gather, everything that you can gather, all of the information you can gather, you should collect. It's like there's. <laughs> And I'm talking about all the information, what pages they visited, when they last visited your website, you know, what problems they've got, what problems they fixed, any grievances they've had in the past, any notes. You should always have a note section when you talk to them, write up the notes. You should, like, I've got, you can see here, look, I've got three screens set up. I've always, always, always got one screen that's got my, uh, that's got my CRM open on it. Okay, I've always got to open them. Whenever I'm talking to someone, I'm always checking their information. I'm always adding that information so that I have a running history of the, com the communication, the connection of how with that person. I'm building up a picture. That's why when I send an email out and say, I haven't spoke to you in eight months, they're like, how do you know? I'm like, oh, because I can see, because I know. Oh, I know your dog went into hospital because it got run over by a car. Is it all right? Oh, yeah, okay, brilliant. See, it's those little things, those little things, those little bits of detail. That's what starts to build a relationship because I can't remember everything. I can't. I need systems to help me remember things. But it's in those details. It's in those conversations when you come across, because I do genuinely care. I do want to know people are all right. I do want to like, have that connection with people. So it's in those conversations that I have with people where I remember things. Yeah, all right, I've written it down. You know, the worst ink is better than the best mind. You need to remember that. It's in those conversations that I have with people that make the biggest differences. So... Uh, yeah, I did say I was going to sort of go through and show you quickly. I'm more than happy to. So let me while I spin this around. Um, let me go into my uh, let me go into my thing here. So I'm going to show you this live so you can see it. Bear with me a sec. Um, I've got a workbook, right? And in my workbook, I'm going to show you two things. Uh, interested in working one on one? Can you give me a call? Yeah, absolutely. I will. I'll give you. A, I'll send you a message after this so that I can reach out and talk to you about it. Like I said, anyone who wants to work with me, I'm, this is exactly what I'm doing. Jane, good afternoon. Hope you're well. Yep, statistics as well. Like That's something else we can talk about. You know, We can talk about how you can check things like that out. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just show you. So like, this is my online course, right? And I'm, I'm showing you the systems behind it. I'm not showing you the, this course. This is my workbook. So my book has 10 chapters, right? So let me just... Give me, give me 30 seconds to explain it, and it will make more sense when I show you the system. So my book has 10 chapters. And in the book, all throughout the book, it says, in the workbook, in the workbook, in the workbook. So when you go into the workbook, I've actually broken it down. And this is the online version. You get a free PDF when they get the book, but they can also upsell. I upsell them into the online workbook. So if we go into chapter one, 
Right, chapter one talks about strategy. It's all these different things like what's your exit strategy, what's your business, who are you? So if I was to click on who are you, now remember, I'm going to show you the back end of this. So I want to show you um, the, the information I gather and why it's so important. So if I go into who are you, then I start asking more questions. You know, these are quite deep as well. And like this, actually, it, sorry, let me flip the camera around because I've just realized this is background. There we go. That's going to be easier for people. Sorry. Um, so if we're looking at who are you, so chapter one, strategy, who are you? Then we've got all these sections. So what is your purpose? What are your core offers? What are you passionate about? Every single one of these has got a video. Every single one has got some information and it's got an area where people can type. Now, this is what's important. It's got an area where people can type. All right, so my purpose is whatever it is. I can type it in, I can update it. Core values, same thing. I talk about all this stuff. What you're passionate about, I talk about it, get you to type it in. Now, I collect all that information. This isn't for me. This is for the person who's filling it in. They can export it, they can get that information, keep it for themselves. But my purpose is that they're going through it. Now, if I go into my, this is WordPress. Now, I told you I use WordPress, right? So if I go into WordPress here, and I scroll down, I've created, and this takes a little bit of work to create, but look, these are all the tags that I've got. So this is me tagging all of the people, these are my Infusionsoft tags, so I can see that they've started the Who Are You section, I can see they finished the Who Are You section, they started the What Is Your Business section, they finished it. Now, if they start and don't finish, they get sent a series of emails, accountability. The other thing as well, if I click on strategy here, look, I've got all of their answers. So I can go through and I can see all of the information about these people so I can start to understand what their budget is. I know who I want to work with before they know. This is my one, by the way. I'm not going to show you any customer information, but you get the idea. All of this information, look. So the idea behind this is, and this is, this is in WordPress. So you can use WordPress as your CRM system if you need to. And the good thing about that is it's free. A couple of plugins, you need some information, you need to be able to create that, because that doesn't come out of the box, that needs to be built. We can build that. You can, there's people that can do that for you. And that's not expensive to build, you just need to know what you're asking. You need to know what you're asking someone to build, and that's the sort of stuff that I can help you with. So, if you need any help, give me a shout. I'm going to end this now, because I don't want to make it that long, I've done 30 minutes. Um, have an amazing day, and I'll be back again 12 o'clock tomorrow for another Facebook Live. If there's anything you want me to cover, Anything about online business that you want me to cover, type it in the comments, and if it's good enough and I think it's valuable enough, then I will dedicate an entire Facebook Live on it. Have an amazing day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.